Have you ever thought about how a single learning environment can cater to the diverse needs of all students? This question leads us to the concept of Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, a revolutionary approach to education that strives to create inclusive environments. In our increasingly diverse world, the need for such environments in education is paramount. Our classrooms are brimming with students of varying abilities, backgrounds, and learning styles. It is no longer practical or fair to employ a one-size-fits-all approach to teaching. That's where UDL steps in. It aims to make learning accessible to all students by providing multiple means of engagement, representation, and expression. It encourages educators to design flexible learning environments that can accommodate individual learning differences. As we dive deeper into this topic, you'll discover how universal design for learning is changing the face of education. So buckle up. The journey to a more inclusive and effective learning environment begins now. What makes universal design for learning so beneficial? Well, let's dive into that. Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, has a wide array of benefits that can truly transform the educational landscape. One of the most significant benefits is the increased engagement of students. Traditional teaching methods often struggle to captivate all students, leading to disinterest and lackluster performance. UDL, on the other hand, offers diverse ways of teaching, allowing educators to reach more students effectively. Let's take a look at a case study to illustrate this point. Consider a classroom where the teacher has adopted UDL principles. They have diversified the ways they present information, using visual aids, audio clips, interactive activities, and more. This approach allows each student to engage with the material in the way that suits them best. One student who has always struggled with purely text-based learning, now finds herself thriving in this inclusive environment. Her grades have improved, and so has her confidence. This is just one example of how UDL can significantly enhance student outcomes. Moreover, UDL doesn't just benefit the students, it's also a boon for educators. The flexibility that UDL provides in teaching methods and assessments allows teachers to be more creative and adaptive in their approach. No longer confined to one-size-fits-all methods, educators can tailor their teaching to suit the unique needs and strengths of their students. UDL also promotes a more inclusive learning environment. By catering to different learning styles and abilities, it ensures that all students, regardless of their backgrounds or learning challenges, have the opportunity to succeed. This inclusive approach fosters a sense of belonging and respect among students, which in turn, enhances their learning experience. So, to sum up, Universal Design for Learning offers an enhanced learning experience for students, greater flexibility for educators, and promotes inclusivity in the classroom. It's a win-win all around. Clearly, Universal Design for Learning has the potential to transform the way we educate our students. Despite its benefits, implementing Universal Design for Learning is not without its challenges. The first hurdle in the path of Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, is the need for extensive teacher training. One cannot simply expect educators to adopt a new system overnight. A comprehensive understanding of UDL principles, strategies, and tools is crucial. This requires dedicated training sessions, workshops, and ongoing professional development. Moreover, not all educators may be receptive to these changes. Resistance to change is a common human trait, and the world of academia is no exception. It may take time and patience to convince some teachers of the benefits of UDL, and to help them see past the initial learning curve. Moving on, the implementation of UDL may lead to an increased workload for teachers. Designing lessons that cater to all learners is no small task. It demands a deep understanding of each student's individual needs, strengths, and areas for improvement. This can be time-consuming and may require additional resources such as educational technology or specialized equipment. Now let's consider a real-world case. Imagine a school in a low-income neighborhood. They're eager to adopt UDL, but the lack of funding poses a significant barrier. Teacher training, new materials, technology upgrades, all these come with a price tag. This isn't a unique scenario. Many schools around the world face similar financial constraints. Furthermore, schools may struggle to find appropriate resources or lack the expertise to utilize available resources effectively. This could lead to a subpar implementation of UDL which in turn may not yield the desired results. Lastly, there's the challenge of assessment. Traditional testing methods may not accurately reflect the progress of students in a UDL environment. Designing inclusive assessments that accurately measure students' understanding and skills is another complex task that educators face. 
These challenges, while significant, are not insurmountable. With the right resources and support, schools can successfully implement universal design for learning. So, what does the future hold for universal design for learning? As we gaze into the crystal ball of education, we see a landscape transformed by universal design for learning, or UDL. More and more schools across the globe are beginning to embrace this approach, recognizing its potential to create inclusive environments where every student has a chance to thrive. The future of UDL is bright, indeed. As more educational institutions adopt its principles, we can expect to see a significant shift in how learning environments are designed and structured, with the heart of UDL beating to the rhythm of inclusivity, accessibility and adaptability, we can anticipate a future where every learner's unique needs are not just acknowledged but actively catered to. Let's take a moment to consider the role of technology in this future. We're living in a digital age where innovations in technology are continually reshaping the way we live, work, and learn. In the realm of education, technology has the potential to supercharge the principles of UDL, creating tools and resources that can be customized to fit the needs of each individual learner. Imagine a future where adaptive learning platforms can tailor educational content to each student's unique learning style. Picture a world where assistive technologies are commonplace in classrooms, breaking down barriers for students with disabilities. Envision an era where artificial intelligence can predict learning difficulties before they arise, allowing educators to intervene proactively and prevent students from falling behind. But it's not just about the technology, it's about the mindset. As UDL becomes more deeply ingrained in our educational systems, we will see a shift towards a more empathetic, inclusive and holistic approach to teaching and learning. It's about recognizing and valuing diversity, not just in our classrooms but in our society as a whole. So, as we step into this future, let's remember. UDL is not just a methodology, it's a movement. It's a commitment to creating a world where everyone, regardless of their abilities or disabilities, has an equal opportunity to learn, grow, and succeed. As we move forward, universal design for learning will undoubtedly continue to shape the future of education. Universal design for learning is more than just an educational framework. It's a commitment to inclusivity and equality in education. This commitment drives us to continually push boundaries, adapt and innovate to ensure that every student can access and benefit from the learning process. We've explored the many benefits of universal design for learning, from fostering a more engaging and flexible learning environment to empowering students with the tools they need to succeed. Yet, we've also acknowledged the challenges that come with its implementation, including the need for resources and the fact that change is often met with resistance. Looking ahead, the future of universal design for learning holds immense promise. As we navigate this journey, it's crucial to remember that our goal is not just to teach, but to reach each and every student, acknowledging their individuality and potential. As we strive to create more inclusive learning environments, we embrace the diversity of our students and celebrate the unique strengths and talents each one brings to the classroom.